Whoever tried or heard or read to solder anything to those two connectors knows or should know that this can be really, really painful. Why? Long story short, um, why things are stainless? Because the, la the layer of oxide that cre is created immediately after something, the metal is exposed to the air and oxygen, is very, very close to the level, to the surface of the metal. It creates a protective layer. And to solder, solder, to solder you have to get through the level uh, layer of oxide to the metal. The oxide of the nickel-plated metal, but steel, in this not steel, it's not steel, metal, of nickel plated metal is temperature resistant so you cannot just try to use heat to get through it and it's very resistant also to regular flux that's usually inside of the um, of this solder 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 fuck anyhow there are people who will say that to do it, you should sand it, you should scratch it with a knife. No, don't trust them. They are stupid. They have absolutely no idea what they are talking about. What you need is, like always, a proper tool. In this case, our tool is the something called... I have this in Polish because, come on, I'm supporting Polish infrastructure. This is soldering acid. This is a very powerful flux that is capable of getting through the layer of the nickel oxide created on the surface of those connectors. With this crop you should you will have absolutely no problems with soldering anything to those bastards. It's super simple. Let me show you. First, let's let me demonstrate what more or less happens when you just take the soldering iron. By the way, also when soldering damn, why cannot I decide to use the word soldering or soldering? Most of my viewers are from the America, so okay. Let me try with soldering. You should use the biggest soldering tip you could find because you don't want to hit the, this thing for a long time. You just want a thermal shock, get the temperature to the surface on it and that's all. So get the biggest soldering tip you can find and the most reasonably powerful soldering iron. I'm using 60 watts, it's enough, but 25 it's definitely not enough. Go with 60, 80. I have a pretty cheap but nice soldering station. Let me let me show you what happens when you just try to solder something to this. It's just not it's not working. Even if you will manage to yeah. Even if you will manage to attach something to the worst knife or something to the level, it's it's really easily easily detachable. And if you want to cover a larger surface of it, you, you will suffer greatly. So this is not the this is not the way. Besides, you don't want to hit the the cell for too long because it will just uh, get damaged. What you have to do. Get yourself a soldering acid. This one I'm using has a phosphoric acid. Yes, it's a phosphoric acid. I know that people are using uh, different kinds of acids. This one is, well, this one is relatively not so little. Uh, still, you should try not to do it uh, in a not well ventilated rooms and uh, where eye protection because this thing if it gets to your eye can be, can be ugly so get some just a small drop on the 
on the surface you're gonna be soldering. Soldering tip, uh, 450 degrees, because you really want to have a quick soldering process. You don't want to heat the lithium 18 650 for too long because it might get damaged. So high temperature, thermal shock, and just look what's gonna happen. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oof, it smells. Um, try not to inhale this too much. It took me like one second or something. And look. This thing. Oh, let me. I got a thin layer of solder on top of the battery connector in just, just a second without absolutely any problems. On the second side of the LiPo. Exactly the same thing. Apply a drop. Even a drop is too much, to be honest. Oh, e ah, anyhow, I'm just gonna throw this out. Out, and let me zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. And the same thing again. A second, less than a second. And beautiful solder applied. But, this stuff is acid so what you have to do unfortunately is you have to wash it use water just normal regular water will be fully enough to remove the rest of the acid from the metal and everything will be will be absolutely fine e. yeah yeah okay that got rid all of the water. They say you should use distilled water, but eh, come on, regular will be enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Done. This stuff makes soldering of everything. If you have any metal that you cannot solder to, use some of this soldering acid. Done. Okay. That's all for today. I'm back to making my lithium battery pack and doing some other nice, nice, well, not so nice, let's things. Until the next one. Ciao.